I wanted to show you what I come up with here. Uh, this would probably be very useful for some of you out there trying to shoot video. Uh, this, all this came in the kit with the camera. I just added this strap here to it. And uh, the nice thing here is I've been using this laser system to know where I'm pointing the camera. And because this is a Wi-Fi camera, I basically have uh, a preview monitor set up and I can also start record with it on my head. So I'm probably going to stop using the laser unless it seems like it's not as effective. But um, because I have a way to preview this now, uh, it's got to it's got to be out of my shot. You can see what happens when it's aimed at it. You know, you get that tunnel effect from the lens, just like a mirror. But you know, I, I just wanted to show you this was real simple to do, um, and because it's Wi-Fi, you know, I put this thing on my head. I can start the recording from here and. Basically, we can get rid of the little laser point that's always in, in the scene. So, um, I just wanted to let you know how simple it is if you get one of these action cameras to, to set this up. I also had a, an issue where I was shooting 1080p at 60 frames a second. And uh, it was flickering. And it was because... I was shooting at 60 frames a second and the lighting in my lab here is uh, special bulbs. They're 52 Kelvin, so they're basically sunlight. That's why it's so bright and it doesn't look yellow like normal fluorescence. But because the AC is at 60 cycles as well, um, it's causing this flicker. So in order to get rid of the flicker, all you have to do is shoot at 30 frames a second at 1080p at 30 frames a second and that eliminates that issue so if any of you are having that issue out there um, you know there's a simple solution you don't need to shoot at 60 fields a second you're only shooting one field in because it's being displayed on a flat screen monitor now and no longer analog you don't need that extra interlace field uh, which is what that's called, it's interlacing, where you have two fields to smooth the motion out. Well, um, it's really not required in this case. So if you shoot at 30 frames a second at 1080p, uh, you won't have that issue if you're shooting under fluorescent lighting or lighting that could be affecting your, if you're getting a flicker. So that's it new camera new rig you can see it and that's basically it